whatever makes these rows a whole lot better than they are now, that's pretty much the side that I'm going towards. Shane Schwab says he's been driving unpaved roads like this one in the Orion Township area for 15 years. We told him about the state's plan to limit the use of mineral brine to reduce brine runoff into local waterways to protect the environment. I'm no expert on it myself. It sounds like something that I need to get to do some research in order to get my own personal bias on it. Brine is a mixture of rock salt and water, and it's used by county road agencies in the winter to melt snow and ice. And in the summer, it's used to control dust on gravel roads. Eagle, or the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy's plan to restrict its use does not sit well with various county road departments. We question a little bit the science. Craig Bryson is senior communications manager for the Oakland County Road Commission. He says the state announced in February it was restricting brine usage without having received input from road agencies. Number one, they're saying they're reducing the frequency of the brine treatment of the gravel roads. Um, and they're also saying we can't spray it within 100 feet of a waterway. Bryson says there are 750 miles of unpaved or gravel roads here in Oakland County. He says one third of those roads, including this one, would be impacted by the proposed restrictions because of their proximity to waterways. Our big concerns are if we use less brine in the winter, the roads will be less safe for motorists in the winter and the gravel roads will be both much dustier and less safe in the summer. Speaking to visibility and air quality concerns for those with breathing issues, I checked with five counties in the Channel 7 viewing area to see how many miles of unpaved roads there are. It ranges. So when the general permit uh, for brine application came up for issuance, we determined that some of these changes were appropriate. Eagle gave this virtual presentation in February and initially stated the changes would go into effect April 1st, but held off. I requested an interview with Eagle. Instead, I received a statement and was told the issue is under reconsideration after much pushback. A spokesperson wrote, quote, When Eagle heard a number of concerns from road groups regarding the draft general permit, Eagle quickly communicated that we'd be pausing the issuance so we could engage with stakeholders and discuss their concerns. This was first communicated as long ago as March 1st, end quote. The state goes on to say it's confident an agreement will be reached with county road agencies while simultaneously protecting the environment. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.